Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Clau and this is Cozy Pixels and today we are making over the Woodland Park in Pleasant View. You could see in the first few shots I showed the original park in case someone isn't familiar with it but I didn't want to include the whole thing while I delete everything because it took so long. So here we are, already everything is deleted and I'm recreating the little pond. This is one of the, I think, four or five remaining lots that we have in the makeover series that I have to finish before I can launch the Let's Play series. I don't know if you guys follow me on any social media, but I posted an image to Tumblr and Twitter and the Discord server. A little teaser on what is about to come with the Pleasant View Let's Play or like Let's Play series. And it won't really be a classic Let's Play. It will be um, a hybrid series because I kind of want to include Let's Play kind of parts, but in general I want to kind of dress it up as a reality show or something like that. So I hope that will work out fine. I've never done anything like that, but I'm kind of excited. I'm planning to make posters for every family to kind of build a little excitement for those series. But first, before I can start that, I have to finish these lots. And this one was a long, long one. This video is also a bit longer than the usual Let's Play series, but I think I kind of can make it reasonable. I sped the build up so much, but basically what I will do is um, split this video into little parts because there will be different areas that I build in the park and I guess you can just um, go wherever you want or what part is interesting for you if you got bored of one of the parts. I don't know if this makes sense, but I hope it will when I upload the video. So first, um, I just quickly want to say um, what areas can we expect. So first, you saw me paint a little something on the ground. That will be the playground area. This will be the restrooms area. I also built a tiny house base. That will be the cafe area. And in the back, the fourth corner, there will be a little sports area. It took me a long time. As you all know, if you watch my speed build series, I'm not really fond of creating scenery and decorating outdoor areas, so building this was a huge step out of my comfort zone. And also painting all these pads was like masking in Photoshop and I found it weirdly fun, I guess. But yeah, a lot of this video, or like a lot of the time that I spent building this was like correcting the pads and just painting on the ground and trying to make it look nice and putting down so much flowers and plants and so many scenery objects and yeah I think even like this there will be areas which will feel a bit empty but I just didn't have it in me to kind of decorate it every every inch because uh, it took me such a long time and um, yeah this is already way more than I usually do for outdoor scenery but I wanted to bring you guys something that looks good so I hope you will enjoy. I will go by area by area. Um, so I won't really go like by function, like base, um, I don't know, furniture, decoration, whatever. But I will kind of make every area its little finished nook before moving on to the next one. Also bear with me if I say um, dumb stuff in this video. We just got the booster shot this morning and I'm a bit sleepy because of it. So after everything is done with this video, I'm going to take a nap and it will be so nice. Because yeah, I'm very sleepy. And I don't know about you, but to be honest, after naps, I'm just even more sleepier than before. So I'm not sure if that's a good idea. But anyway... Yes, so here we go with the little playground area. I like this one, actually. I mean, I I like how it turned out in general. I know it's not perfect compared to other very much more talented people's uh, outdoor sceneries, but I think to my standards it looks really good. 
and I put so much effort in it, which I usually don't in this type of builds. And also, so much of this video will be me trying to choose um, pa ground paints, wallpaper, tiles. So, as usual, bear with me while I try to figure out what I want to do. But, <laughs> yeah, also, I think this video will be the perfect example of that meme where, you know, um, there's this meme that has this pathway going like this. This. And then on the grass, there's a path walked out by the people like this. And, uh, you know, it says like what the designer thinks and what the people need or whatever. And this is exactly what is going to happen here. Because if you see, I painted a little walk path there from the main path to the playground. But all of the sims will just walk straight into the playground from the other side, which is all right, that's okay. But you know, it would be fun if they would follow the pets, but oh well, you can't have it all, I guess. So playground area is kind of done. Also restroom area, kind of done. These two are so fast. We are only in six minutes from the 23. And yeah, so every time I make this park over, because it, this must be at least like the fifth time, I always do this little island in the middle of the pond with the little bridge and I think this is the best one so far. I will put a gazebo down very very soon and I think it looks really cute. Perfect place to kind of get engaged or romantic dates or whatever with your sims and <laughs> also so I recorded this in two parts because it was it took me so long. And between the two takes, I went and downloaded some CC to put on the pond, like a little boat and whatever. But I forgot to put it on in the game before starting to record again. So it they didn't get used anyway. But yes, it, it, it doesn't matter. It still looks kind of nice. Also, this lady statue I always put in more, most of my parks. I don't know, it's like um, the founder statue or whatever. But it always has a place in this uh, woodland park and in most of my other parks, in my custom neighborhoods as well. Oh yeah, and I also downloaded a, like a fishing rod. Ah, oh, or like a fishing rod stand. And I didn't find that either. Later on the video, you will see that I spent a lot of time looking for these, but I couldn't find them. And then I realized that I didn't extract them to the game before <laughs> launching it again. And yeah, so this little cafe area is really cute. I really like it. I am very proud of it. But I spent so much time on trying to make this happen. Um, First, I didn't really know what to do with the roof, but then I just decided to make the cafe a little smaller, which makes it a very tiny, tiny cafe. Like, not much fits in, but I think that's what makes it look so cute and cozy. I really like how it turned out. But yeah, I was thinking so much on how to make this work properly, because I fir at first I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it. I just knew that I want to, ca to have some kind of cafe or food area and not just the regular you know i placed one barbecue in the park and that's it but yeah i think it turned out cute but i have to i had to give it a lot of thought because um i'm not i don't think i'm naturally good at building like parks and organizing stuff and um, I remember I once saw a post on Tumblr which was like a tutorial on how to decorate parks and I tried to adapt a few things from that but I can't remember all of it and I think it really needs like it takes practice to kind of figure out what to do I don't know if you guys can see but I'm playing with my camera's uh, lens cap while I'm talking because it helps me think I hope it doesn't bother you. But yeah, with these speed builds, I'm always a little bit um, in a tr trouble, in a bit of tr trouble, because I added the speed part together first, 
I render it out and now I'm just looking at the sped up build and trying to live comment it. And I don't usually edit too much of these videos, but with a video this long and like being sleepy and all, it's kind of hard to keep up and just to think about stuff to talk about non-stop for 23 minutes. It's a bit hard, I'm not going to lie, but I hope you guys wouldn't have noticed if I don't highlight it right now. And that's also one of my problems, that I highlight my mistakes. Like, this is the first kind of rule in public speaking, that if you mess up something, you just act like nothing happens. Or like, if you don't feel that comfortable, you just, you know, push through because... Most of the people wouldn't even realize that you messed up because they don't know what you want to say, they don't know your lines, they don't know your act or whatever. So it's um, it's just recommended to not acknowledge that you messed up and then probably 99% of, of the people won't recognize it either. There you go. Public speaking lesson of the day. I also now realize that I don't think I put a door... Uh, to the backstage of the cafe so people can't really access the coffee machine and the pancake stand which i really like that's a piece of cc that i think fits in very well here so this is a little cafe slash pancake place but yeah i i will have to fix that because i absolutely forgot about that because um so i put this like I put it like this because I didn't want random sims to stand behind the counter because that's one of the things that I absolutely hate when they do and when... Uh, I don't know if you guys play with a lot of businesses but when I own businesses uh, it's just the most annoying thing that the customers can do is like come behind the counter and stand next to the cashier and try to talk to the cashier all the time and distract them from doing their work and then everyone becomes mad because they don't get served so what i usually do is uh, put the counters in a way that blocks the access and put a door back backstage back doors um, and lock it so only my sim and the employees can access and I know this is a community lot and you can't exactly do that here but I'm just hoping that the little door will kind of keep unwanted guests out I don't know maybe it won't but let's hope for the best so I was trying to decorate this little cafe to be this cute bit of a hipster kind of place and I think I kind of managed. I even have tiny pumpkins uh, and Halloween stuff and whatever. And I really like the little coffee table, which I think is a conversion from the plants kit. And it just gives such a nice vibe to this place. I love it so much. I think it fits here perfectly. And yeah, a lot of coffee clutter, which I barely ever use. So I decided I will let myself go. And just put all these clutter items everywhere. So this lot is heavily infected with OMSPs. And I will never modify anything in it because of that. But I really like how it looks. So I think it's worth it. Sometimes I find my I find it that I don't really have the patience to use OMSPs and just you know try to get everything to the right spot. And here I actually suffered a lot with the OMSPs. Because none of them seem to be the proper height and even with this one that I finally decided on they are still clipping through the glass surface but it's not really noticeable so I was like heck yeah why not but it's really cute I really like it I am not entirely sure in the wallpaper like if you saw I spent a lot of time trying to decide what to do with it and I decided on this flamingo one but I'm not entirely sure if it's the best one. Also, I forgot to put um, wall decoration in there because I spent so much time on the other aspects of the clutter. But I think it turned out really cute. Next to it, there will be the regular kind of um, eating area with the barbecue and everything. But I think it uh, kind of combines the two together in a nice way. 
and I finally use these window stickers because I have these for ages, like the little um, V Accept Mastercard uh, stickers, but I don't think I ever used them. So finally, I didn't forget. And yeah, look how cool they look. I love them so much. I think it just adds a little nice touch to your to your little business and makes it a tiny bit realistic. I think. So yeah, I really like it. And again, the masking with the ground paint. And now that I think about it, I think I forgot to put proper lights in there again. And <laughs> this is funny because when I was editing this video, um, towards the end, I would um, like put lights everywhere to properly light up the park. And I remember thinking, ah, oh, yeah, finally. Finally, I didn't forget to put the lights uh, to the proper places. But of course, indoors, um, I forgot them again, except for the string lights. So I guess that's a step up. And yeah, so this dumpster is blocking the way of the door. So I will probably have to move that away. Because I didn't think that through. But besides that i think this area came out really nice and i am not entirely sure like that uh, roof area seems a tiny bit empty so maybe i will i don't know maybe i will figure something out to put there but i don't really know what because the coffee bean sign is too big for there so that's why i decided to put it on the empty wall but i think that looks very nice there like covers up the whole empty space properly and it's not too much either so i really like that i like these uh, business related cc because community lots are super hard to build and i think like every little item that you can get helps so much like one sign or one um, i don't know sticker that i mentioned that you can put on the on the door or on cash register or shelf or whatever basically can make such a di such a nice difference and i really like what i did there with the little napkins and plates on the barbecue i don't know i'm and that is probably my favorite part of this whole beard because it's so simple and yet so smart <laughs> this is like Hmm, yeah, it's the Obama gives a necklace to himself meme that I say this. But I really like that. That's my favorite part of the period because it adds like a tiny, tiny bit of realism into it with such a, an easy thing to do, I would say. And also a lot of plants, a lot of plants. You can see the pattern that I, what I'm trying to do here is to put these little flowery areas next to the next to the path where it goes in different ways in the intersections and such and like on the other places it, it's empty and I know it looks a bit weird but I, I really just don't have the mental capacity to kind of put flowers and plants all around the path because that sounds like a lot of work and also, I'm not even sure that when you play, it's that good, or I don't know. I'm, like on photos, it does make a lot of difference. But in gameplay, I'm not sure if I will miss having plants everywhere. But I mean, I wish I could build like uh, Lucia on Tumblr, because everything she makes is just so amazing. But... I can only imagine how much time her builds take because she pays attention to so much detail like and to every nook and cranny it's it's fully decorated and cluttered and everything makes sense and I just love it so much but I think I don't have the talent nor the patience to do builds like that <laughs> so I will just have to accept my um, skill level as it is now. I can't really complain, to be honest. I like how this park turned out. Maybe to others it looks weird, but like knowing how I made this park over in the past, I think this might be one of the best ones. 
or maybe the best ones. Best one. I don't know. I can't really remember. I know I have like nice pictures of one of the older iterations, and I was trying to find that one, you know, in case I saved it, but I didn't. So this is it now. It is what it is. And yeah, so I think we are almost done. Oh, yeah. Uh, only three minutes left. So this, um, this part is already the second time that I logged into this slot. And I looked at the park and didn't really know what to do with the remaining empty space. So I decided to do this little rock garden thingy. And I'm, I think it turned out quite all right. But it's probably not the most creative ways to use this <laughs> empty space. But I was really thinking, like, what else could I do here? What would make sense in a park? Like, I checked hobby items and such. But I was like, nah, I think it's quite alright. So I decided to make this little garden. And I will put down a few benches it, uh, to a little sitting area here. And um, I will put down this game, the Myshuno, I think is what it's called. It's basically Sims Bingo. I don't know if you guys ever noticed that or like did know that. But they are playing bingo when they are playing this weird game. When I was a kid, I, I didn't really understand what the hell was going on. Because I think bingo is not that big of a thing here in Hungary. Like I know in movies... Old people always play bingo or whatever, but I don't think it's I don't think I've ever seen anyone play bingo in Hungary. <laughs> but yeah, so a little bit more decorating. This is where I will try to find the boat and the fishing rod, but I fail miserably. And oh yeah, and one more thing that I will put into the empty area is a little picnic um place. <laughs> and because I have these cute picnic conversions from, I think, Outdoor Living or what it is called in The Sims 4. And I was trying to put down a rug. But rugs act a little weird outside. With the, I think it's either because of my lighting or whatever. But they just disappear from time to time. So I went back to the old 2000s way. And I will use tiling as a rug. Which is what I used to do all the time as a kid. And yeah, I have to say though, it doesn't look that bad in the end. It doesn't, like it's not the best either, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. And yeah, with my last, last energies and power, I put some decorations to the entrance because the entrance is the most important part of the park and that's where I didn't put so much effort I think maybe when I have like new inspiration I will make that a little nicer but at the moment it's just a few plants and shrubs and I think that's cool I think that's all right and yeah as I said you can see that there are a few places where I didn't really put too much um flowers or scenery or whatever but I think it's not too bad. When in doubt, place trees. That's my motto for making this park. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support my work, become a member or check out my socials. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.